Hey, Shalom on Israel. First off, I'd like to say, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Akakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and sincerely believe, Shalom on you as well. Just back with another lesson in the whole uh, midst of going from uh, the year 2020. The year of all manner of devastation in the Most High beginning to show his hand in the earth. Uh, we're going into 2021 here, uh, you know, the, over the next uh, day or so. So uh, a lot of people have it set in their mind that all of a sudden, you know, a, a light or a, a switch is going to flip, you know, from the things or how the way things are playing out in 2020. But it's only going to get uh, harder. It's only going to get more real as far as the the, the the amount of devastation and judgment that's going to commence in the earth. But the hope for the elect is we're coming into the time where our Lord is about to return. He, he's about to make his return, his second coming upon this earth in his glorified form to redeem those men who have stood stiffly for the, the name, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So it's just more excitation for brothers just just give all gas no breaks in the spirit to the best of your ability because we're getting closer and closer for the time of our redemption through our lord but so we have a, a lot to look forward to going forward as well you know but a lot of these people within this world they're thinking that 2021 is just gonna uh basically change the tide from the way things been playing out thus far but the heat's only fin about the, it's only about to turn up but I'll uh, read some scriptures, Lord willing, this will edify. I'm going to start off here in Joel 1, and I'll start at verse 14. It says, Sancti Sanctify ye fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord, your power, and cry unto the Lord. So right now we're supposed to be in a state of mourning because we're in a lower state. The scripture says, better is it to go into the house of mourning than the, the house of feasting. Because we're not uh, set back in our uh, kingdom of rulership. We don't have the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts right here. We're in our servitude right now. We're still drinking the cup of our punishment uh, for going off against the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father as a people. So it's time to cry to the Lord to put us back in our original state. And we're getting closer to that time. It says... Uh, verse 15, alas, for the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. So for alas, the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the Almighty, it shall come. Because we understand that this current world and rulership, Babylon the Great, which we know as America through the spirit of prophecy, is about to be destroyed. And simultaneously, as uh, the judgment of great Babylon is taking place, the deliverance is going to take place by the hand of the Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who we know in the Hebrew to be Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, Yahweh in the Hebrew. So it's a beautiful time for uh, those uh, elect, you know, who endure to the end for the elect, for the one third, the remnant that are numerable multitude. You know, it's going to be a great deliverance uh, taken forth out of Babylon. So we got a lot to look forward to going forward as well. We know there's only a few key prophecies that have to come to pass before the nail gets put in the coffin for this place. But it's beautiful that we're getting closer and closer to those times, man. 2021 is about to be lit. People among this world, they think it's about to be lit. You know, in a, in a selfish, you know, self-gratifying manner. But, you know, all through the spirit of the Lord, more judgment is about to touch this place. You know, people think just because they get stimulus money and all of this, that and the third, that things are going to go back to uh, just hunky dory, for lack of a better word. You know, back to a uh, status quo. But we always emphasize everyone's going to have to adapt to the new normal because things are never going back to the way that they were before. And it's all beautiful for the brothers, the men that the Most High set up to preach this word because we've been saying that, we've been preaching this, this message for years, man. 
starting, of course, with the apostles that the Most High set up. But it's beautiful that all of these things are coming to pass, man. That's why it's important to stand stiffly to the best of your ability that we may receive a reward, man. We're not doing this for nothing. Our Lord is about to redeem us, man. This is uh, Isaiah 61 and 1. It says, the spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the openings of the prison to them that are bound. So the spirit of the Lord is on the, uh, the, the, the brothers, the messengers of the most high that are set up to preach this word. To preach good tidings and to preach it means to prophesy. We're speaking the words of prophecy. The word prophecy means to say before. We're telling uh, the elites that run this society. We're uh, telling, you know, just the masses of people what's going to happen before it's happening. And it's all glory to the most high, man. As his uh, servants speak, he's allowing things to happen in the earth. But it's good news. It's good tidings for the hopeful elect, you know, within the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You know, who are known as the meek of the earth, who've been brokenhearted. We're proclaiming liberty to you because the scripture says that the truth shall set you free. And that's the first place where it starts for our people to really have a peace is in peace of mind. Having this truth, man, having your mind set free, knowing who you truly are as a people, knowing who your enemy is, knowing who the heathen nations are, knowing what power to serve, knowing the instructions that your power to gave you. To, to live by as a nation, to be prosperous. That's what we're proclaiming to our people, man. It says, verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. So that's what we're doing at the same time. We're proclaiming the acceptable year of our Lord. People get ready for 2021, but hey, we're ready for the acceptable year of our Lord, man, to where Great Babylon is being destroyed, and Lord willing, if we endure to the end, the elect is going to be delivered. When the Lord makes his return, that's the year that we're looking forward to, man. So 2021, hey, I'm, I'm glad that we're coming into it as well, man, for prophecy's sake. You know, as more time goes by, that's the closer that we get for the acceptable year and return of our Lord to deliver us, man, out of this hellhole. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. So we're going to be set back up in our righteous state like it talks about in Isaiah, uh, the first chapter, man. The law shall go forth out of Zion. All of the different nations, they're going to have to come up before us, man. We're going to be the personification of righteousness on earth. Because pursuant to the prophecy in Jeremiah 31 and 31, we're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. You know? That stony heart is going to be made flesh. It says, uh, verse 4. Yeah, Isaiah 61 and 4, it says, And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And that's what's happening right now through the spirit of this word going out, man. You know, the two witnesses, the northern and the southern kingdom, the two sticks that the prophecy in Ezekiel 37 talks about, they're coming back together to, to preach this word. To preach this doctrine of our Lord, to free the captive, to, to free the captives, to proclaim liberty, you know, to those who have been bound up, man, through this word, until it actually manifests into a kingdom, when our Lord and Savior returns to redeem us, man. But right now, through the spirit of the word going uh, going out, we're being raised up. Uh, this is Amos nine and eleven, just to you know back up a point I just read. It says in that day. Will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof? And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. So the tabernacle of David, the house of David, you know, is being raised back up through the spirit just as in the days of old. 
because uh, the northern and the southern kingdom, we were all together, you know, under uh, the, uh, the banner of King uh, David and King Solomon. And of course, after King Solomon, uh, the, the kingdom split. The uh, northern kingdom went into the Assyrian captivity and eventually uh, the southern kingdom went into the uh, Babylonian captivity. But through the spirit, the ruins, those two kingdoms, those two uh, sticks are being put back together, man. It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen, which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. So that's why it's important for that acceptable year to come when the Lord is going to redeem us. And then we're going to be set back up in rulership, possessing Edom and the rest of these heathen nations, man, that are round about. Verse uh, back in Isaiah 61, verse five, it says, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. So this is talking about in the kingdom, man, when we're going to when the nation of Israel is going to be set back up in power with these other nations, we're going to rule over them with a rod of iron. They're going to feed our flocks and they're going to be our plowmen and vine dressers, man. So that's that's beautiful that we're getting closer and closer to the acceptable year and return of our Lord so we can be set back up in authority in all manner of righteousness, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about going forward into 2021 as well, man, but for the right reasons, not for thinking blindly that things are going to somehow change. And, you know, it's just about to be a big, big party in America, man. It's just not going to play out that way, man. The heat is only ramping up, but it's beautiful for those who know what's going on. But I'll read this and end out the short lesson. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So for all of you new viewers who are watching these videos, you know, the time of entertainment those days are, are far long gone. If you understand what's going on, if you can receive this word, if you're an Israelite, it's time to repent and get closer to your power because salvation is nearer than when we when we first believed. For when a lot of brothers, starting with our apostles and elders, first came into this faith, man, as these days and, and, and months and years draw uh, by, we're getting closer and closer for the, to the return of our Lord, to that acceptable year of our Lord. So... We got a lot to fight. We got a lot to fight for. There's a lot on the line, you know. Just press toward the mark of your high calling. If you've been called into this faith, the scripture says, "Many are called, but few are chosen." We got to give all manner of due diligence to make our calling and election sure. So, Lord willing, this edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect.